What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Domina. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today for a little while as we hang out and continue spying on the magistrate, you bald, red eyed bastard. Although he's got devil eyes, too. They all got devil eyes. Everybody got devil eyes. In the previous episode, we learned that we were really, really good at killing human beings, and we had ramped up the difficulty of the game in order to account for that because, you know, it was are those chained or are those free? Two chained lions. Nonius! Somebody get Nonius's ass out here. At this point, he's just like the supreme biologist about lions. He's like, actually, if you grab the gooch and then you move your fingers in kind of like a cross pattern, the lion just falls over. They love it, man. Lions love me. That's what Oh, shit, I turned down the contract on accident. I clicked the wrong thing. That was my bad. I didn't mean... Ah! That was an accident. I was actually totally on board to do that one, but... Damn. Man of a certain height and build. Just keep spying. Just keep spying. The architect is done with the apothecaries, which is pretty cool. Although it didn't add anything that I can see. Sometimes when he builds stuff, it adds things to, like, the yard. A moneylender approaches you regarding a loan that your father had taken out against his prized gladiator, Ruvius. He demands repayment of the loan. Yeah, have my agent kill him. Your agent successfully kills the moneylender, but he is caught in the act. The magistrate can be paid to look the other way, but it costs you 50 bucks. Yeah, but at least he's dead now for double-crossing me. I mean, I still had to pay the 50 gold coins, but it was basically a murder tax because that guy was an asshole and he's trying to blackmail me. I will get a grain shelter next. Sounds really, really good to me. Keep buying some of that stuff. I actually haven't sent you that much wine, so I'm just going to keep sending wine over. Perfect. He's got wine. I will heal. He is a man of a certain race. Okay, we'll keep throwing secrets to him to try and keep him happy. But unfortunately, he is all out of... We're not able to buff him with wine anymore. I guess is what I'm getting at here. Uh, Fanius has appealed for release. Would you nurture a man towards glory and stifle it by imprisoning him, or would you use the grace that was bestowed upon you by the gods to see a man's true worth by allowing him to flourish as a freed man, a citizen of Rome? No, I'm going to turn it down for right now. I will free him at some point, but I need to... Fanius is like my last bulwark, basically. If anything goes wrong... Fanius is the guy that can take care of it, and if I if I lose him right now, that's not going to work for me. I don't have anybody to replace him. Like, some of our guys are getting close. Volchi was getting close, but then Volchi died, and so it was like, well, shit, now we don't have Volchi anymore. Uh, keep putting new helmets on him. Get him something a little bit nicer to defend himself with, because I do think we'll be using him in the near future. Jupiter's mail sounds about right. And then for his grieve, just keep updating it. And then he'll need a new net because he threw his last one. So apparently we got to buy him a new net whenever that happens. But he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Uh, we can now train Mermelos, which are the two-handed dual-wielding guys, which are pretty sweet. Increased attack speed. I can throw weapons. I've got aim defense, polearm defense. Let's go with some defensive stuff like combat roll and things of that nature. I think that's a good idea. As far as the Faber goes, he's basically done everything that he can do. I could technically phase him out and get somebody else right now. Uh, pretty easily. With regards, I mean, we'll have nobody to repair gear, but, you know. I could live with that. I'm going to turn you into a Mermelo just because we don't have one yet. And I'm going to have you dual wheel Gladiuses. At a certain point, I think those turn into a two hander or something. We've got an Executioner's Hood, a canvas shirt, maybe some shoulder pads. Yeah, let's make you match in colors. That sounds pretty rad. There we go. And so we'll move him over here. We'll give us like a little bit of a demarcation. I'm going to sell a couple of these guys for the extra cash so that I can afford to line up a pit fight, which is between... Oh, these guys have really, really good gear. And it's 1v2? Okay. Uh, with 1v2 going in, I'm going to give Nonius a shot at the title here. I realize we don't have any lions involved in this fight, so he's probably going to affix me with just like a confused look like a what the shit. But, I think he'll do okay. God, I love the music in this game, dude. The music is so legit in this game. I'm hoping they added in so you can do PvP online with people too. Like, you can actually have like an online mode of some kind. Wow, I'm so much faster now that I've taken that upgrade that makes me speedy. 
What you want to do? I got you pinned. Yep. Good night. These guys have really, really good gear. I'm actually kind of worried about one. Ooh, yeah, with their love taps right there, they sting a little bit more. But I think hard is like the perfect spot with the difficulty where it actually feels like they're putting up a fight right now and things are moving quickly and you got to like keep an eye on it. Weapon training speed. Don't have anything there. Don't have anything there. Uh, Nonius, go ahead and say, I don't know when the next fight's going to come through or it's going to force me to go up against lions, so. You know, get yourself healed up. Do your thing, buddy. Do your old thing, buddy. And that's going to be a chained lion or a free lion? A roaming lion. Nonius. Oh, yes, hello, Nonius. Nonius Maximus, the fighter of lions. I'm going to focus on killing this asshole off first, and then the lion can just deal with those dudes. Nope, I ain't coming down there. Nonius knows the best strategy for fighting a lion is not to. <laughs> we haven't invented guns yet. That means we're definitely not hunting lions. Forget that noise. Nonius making me that money. Nonius gets me paid, man. That's why I like Nonius. That's why I like Nonius. He gets me paid. He gets me paid. All right, so... He's fully maxed out. He's getting a little closer. Ooh, an extreme mermelo. Extreme mermelo, bro. He's the merma bro. The magistrate happens when upon you purchasing new sandals in the market. The cobbler is a distant cousin with whom you have some rapport, despite the fact that his halitosis is offensive and unyielding. His greed is even worse than his bad breath. The magistrate intimates that he might be interested in a good deal on new sandals as well. Uh, yeah, I'll give, I'll tell my cousin that right there. The magistrate is pleased to get a good deal on sandals, which ends up costing you four coin. Additionally, you discover the magistrate has six toes on his left foot, a fact that he covers up because of the old wives' tale about it being bad luck. Now you know his dirty little stubby secret. I learned your little stubby little secret, stubby little secret. Who needs to know? The blink of an eye. Uh, steal me some armor, sir. Keep that going. Faber ain't doing nothing right now. We got 10 days till our next battle. I mean, I suppose I could put Fanius in for another fight. Oh, wow. And then Damophilius, the bringer of pain. He is a behemoth. Dude, he's got so much backup, though. I'm definitely going to lose some gladiators on this one. So I'm going to put in people that uh, don't really matter. It gives us something to work towards. And then I'll take Fanius because he's really our best chance here. But this is probably not going to pan out well for us, would be my guess. I do wish you could command your... Because I would actually have them hit and run if they can. Okay, so he's up and running. So basically what I need... Oh, he's chained to them, too. Oh. Okay, run, 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 run. Hit and run. He's only got 22 HP left. He's down. Okay, Fanny has survived, but all of our other gladiators are down. We need to be very, very careful with that engagement. Holy shit. We just lost our entire stable. Holy ass balls. That was an ugly fight. So much money, though, but it's going to cost us that much to re-equip this many people. Oof. All right, well, move the Mermelos up. Uh, let's start retraining. we got to get people back up and running, get people into position to start being gladiators. I'm going to go with a second Mermelo, even though I'm not a particularly large fan of Mermelos. I would like for you to have reasonable gear. And basically, I just got to get him up to. I got to get him up to snuff. Yeah, give him this Vihander. I've never actually played around with this Vihander before, but I'd like to see what it can do. I will put him in on a couple of fights very, very shortly, just so we can find out like what he's capable of accomplishing. Your agent has returned empty-handed. That sucks. Keep stealing. Uh, you, sir. We don't have Rediarius training yet. Attack vector makes you faster. Evasive roll is what we were working towards. Let's go polearm defense because I feel like it might have made a small difference in that last fight. 
Oh, these guys' stats are so terrible. So what's up with the pit fights right now? I'm going to reject that one. It's too risky. Some of these guys down here, I'm going to let them stay for a while, but I'm going to get rid of them once they've trained for a little bit so that they're stronger. Our fights are kind of panning out to be, oh, really? Empty-handed again, huh? Kind of beginning to upset me, pal. What else do we have going on? Larcius the Savage. That's a big son bitch. Uh, I don't need you training. I need you healing, pal. He's almost done with the grain shelter, but he's got a little bit more time left to go. Oof, we're so close right now. We've only got 150 days left until things are, like, good and golden. Everybody else who's still standing is in rough shape. We got another pit fight against Valerius. That sounds good to me. Let's take one of our new guys in. Yeah, let's take in Senior Zweihander, the Claymore captain, and see if he can accomplish anything cool. Oh, wow, that's a big hit. I got to get used to my reach on this thing. This guy definitely does not have the strength for the gear he's wearing right now. I'm just going to... Every time I move, it uh, messes with my agility. So I'm just going to keep in one spot if I can. Or I'm sorry, it messes with my stamina. There we go. He managed to pull through it, but it was an ugly fight. And he definitely took some knocks. Got a few new scars from that little throwdown. But he also got something even more important. A couple of free level ups and a reputation with the crowd. Uh, equipment steward. The local militia is disorganized and lacks training. They wish to learn the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat from experienced fighters. Sure. Lend a gladiator. The magistrate is pleased to get a good deal on sandals, which ends up costing you four... Oh. I think that was a bug. Weapons lose 50% less HP in combat. Sure. Start putting that stuff on these guys. And then I will click here. Oh, we got a fight coming up. Are right, those going to be wild lions, Nonius? Okay, so those are chained lions. Nonius, do your thing, man. Nonius Mabronius. If you die, it'll Blonius. Oh, they're roaming lions. Shit. Are they chained? Or are they roaming? Run for it. Okay, they're chained. Good. That guy's got no weapon. If I had a little bit more luck, it would have flown inside the range of the lion. Cut his leg off through his shield. He blocked, and the blow still took his leg off. That's how mighty the hit is. That's how, like, big and hardcore the fight is. Damn. All right, a little bit more cash so that we can start affixing some better gear to some of our guys that we want to see survive a tad longer. Uh, he only gets the one pauldron, so that's a cheap upgrade right there. Red Dragon's Mail. Cool. He's got the best thing he can have as far as shields go. We'll continue just mashing that out for him, too. That has taken our cash down by quite a bit, however. Keep food nice and solid. You guys have been training for a while, so it's time for you to go to market. And that was actually a nice little bonus in cash right there. I wasn't expecting to get that much. And then we'll put some of them to freedom. Just to offset some of the nastiness that tends to go along with slave sales. All right. A little bit of cash left. We can't really do a whole lot. However, I could track down some pit fights, I guess. Uh, with my two-hander guy. How are you? Are you all right? Hopefully he'll do better this time around because last time he did not have the strength in order to... Let's see here. Gladiators learn breathing techniques that allow them to regenerate in combat. That's pretty sweet. So I'll go along with that right there. Okay. And so now that we've got ourselves a pretty good Mermelo too... You know, I want to look at another championship fight. But, like, the championship fights are so draining and so ugly and, like, so difficult to... So he has a boss hammer. He has 13 victories. He's Larcius the Savage. It's almost a thousand gold if I can beat him, though. I'm gonna do it. And I'm only gonna bring Fannius because last time I brought somebody. Oh, I'm chained to him. That's troublesome. I didn't expect to be chained to him. Oh, shit on me. This is gonna hurt. 
yeah, so basically what we need to do here... Aw, oh, shit. Being chained to him is just too much. Like, that's really, really bad. Especially when he's got that reach. Like, he was hitting us even though the chain was fully extended out. Like, that's the end of Fanius. Uh, Fanius has fallen, unfortunately. Um, the chain is too much on that fight. I'll, that's just... Don't give an enemy a weapon that gives them the reach that the chain supplies. Because that means, in this game, getting hit, you can only soak one hit with your shield, and the second follow-up hit always hits you, basically. And so, an enemy like that who breaks through your shield anyways, chaining you to him? Eh. It's a little rough on the player. It's a little nasty. Grip techniques. Let's go evasive roll. If I'd had evasive roll in that fight, I might have been able to make it work for me. By chance, a vintner has accidentally delivered a cask of very expensive wine to your ludus that was intended for your competitor. Uh, I will give it to the legate as a gift. The legate is pleased with your thoughtful gift. I mean, they're always upset with you anyways. This, I don't think, has been balanced yet inside the confines of the game because they're always mad. Like, I've never seen them in a good mood. Uh, we're going to have to come up with something here. We don't have a choice. we got to come up with something that will get me paid, so... Jump in on a pit fight, pick a gladiator, and see if we can make ourselves some money here. Oh, we're going to need a new champion. And I've decided the Retiarius is going to be our new champion now that Phanius of Cyprus has fallen uh, to a massive hammer upside of his head. Did him with a sledgehammer like he does drywall on the weekends. I was like, Jesus. Ooh, my spear just went into the crowd. Okay. I... Come on. This guy is really outrunning me. I'm going to get him with the net. There we go. Got him with the net, and that supplied me a victory. It was a cheese victory, but it was a victory that worked nonetheless because it was looking like he was going to take us to town. Shifting the game on up to difficult has definitely made things a tad more, uh, what is that? Speedum Gasarmi. Oh, that's right. It downgraded him because his weapon got knocked into the crowd. Okay, so that's going to be an expensive repair. Uh, I need somebody to step up in here. You might as well be you. Move the champion forward. We'll have all of our besties up in here. Nonius actually ended up surviving a lot longer than I expected. Put you right there. You over there, and we'll get you all in line. With the architect, it looks like he's finished the grain shelter. So that will generate food for us and make it so that I can buy food a little bit more frequently, which has been a problem for us this entire run. I'm going to keep pumping stuff into water, although I don't even really need it. We've got another pit fight. I will look at that, and it's going to be 1v3. I'm going to send Nonius in to handle that one because I fight best. I find that actually the uh, the Thrakes is my favorite class by far. The Thrakes just, it feels like they're in a good spot as far as the balancing goes, and I just feel like I have my, my best chance to win with my Thrakes. We lost a lot when Phanius went down. Phanius was kind of awesome. Uh, like circling me and shit. There you go, buddy. There you go. Work him. Definitely don't let him surround you. One down, two down. All right, let's play this a little safer. There's 78 out right there. Ah, if I can keep him on his shield, we're all right. Come on, fight me. Let's go. Stop rolling all over the place. This ain't a limp biscuit track. Down you go. Definitely putting the game on hard has changed things up and made it a little bit more challenging, made things a little bit more dangerous for my character. No lie. No lie. But we're starting to recover a little bit. What does defensive priority do? Doesn't matter because it didn't get added to our cards list. I am going to have to. So I am chained on this one, and it's up against four guys. I'm going to have to reject the terms. That one's just a little bit too rough. It's just not something I can handle right now in my weakened state. Not something that's looking good for me in my current situation. We do have some cash to put together to start putting some decent gear on some of these guys. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get some defense locked in. Good. And then as his stats go up, we're going to look for another pit fight in just a minute. Unless you want to organize a pit fight. Keep stealing armor. You're absolutely invisible right now. Architect, let me get a build baths. That's fine. I don't even know what baths are going to do, but it seems like it makes everybody happier. Uh, Faber has upgraded somebody to durable pauldrons, which is great. Titus is back on defense right now. I'm going to use what's remaining of my cash to get him upgraded one more time. 
So he's back on the speedum. We've got a pit fight. It's going to be against Fabius. This is going to be a fight that I'm definitely going to send in. Let's go Appius the Mermelo. I don't trust my Mermelo skills just because the Mermelo plays very differently from what I'm used to, but we need him to get some wins, and so that's what I'm fishing for right now. I do hope that they add, like, breakage of shields and things like that, too, because that seems like something that the Mermelo would benefit from. You're not going to be able to take a two-hander and block all day or a day with it without some kind of... Come on. There we go. There's a hit. I just need this guy to level up is really what it comes down to. If I can't level him up, he's not going to be able to do anything for me in the long term. I need him to get to the point where he can actually, like, strike quickly. Yeah, that shield should be gone by now. It's crazy that he's just soaking all these hits with that shield. There we go. There's another good one, but it's basically an even fight at this point. And I can't afford to lose this Mermelo right now, which is forcing me to play super, like, carefully and just hoping for the best. Ah. I do have regeneration, so that's... Oh, we got him! Holy shit, you took his leg off. Nice job, buddy. Excellent job. That's going to give him a couple extra training points, make him look a little bit nicer, make us a little bit of money, which I think is important, too. So, Nonius, you're still healing, huh? Our healing is taking a time right now. With this Vihander this Vi Plus. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of uh, Domino. We've actually ramped up the difficulty in these last couple episodes, and it has mattered. It's been quite a bit nastier on hard difficulty, but I do feel challenged, which for the earlier part of the series, I felt like we were basically just skating through shit on easy mode. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do everybody, and when next we meet, hopefully we'll be ready for the championship. I don't know.